While social media has many advantages, sometimes getting real-time news to help get citizens make informed decisions comes at a cost when information is distorted from the source to drive propaganda and influence political views. The word fake news gained recognition when it became a favorite term of U.S. President Donald Trump to describe any news unfavorable to him. Subsequently, fake news was named 2017 Word of the Year by American Dialectic Society. Next, it became a global problem. And now, a Nigerian problem. Experts say with the way social media is peddling fake news in the country, a lot more damage may be done before Nigeria realizes the danger in taking whatever they see on social media, hook, line and sinker. In this series, Root TV Nigeria explores the causes, consequences and what people think about fake news. As Nigeria draws closer to the 2019 general elections, the issue of fake news is becoming more visible by the day. In fact, more visible than ever. And that's why Nigerians sometimes trip out to newspaper stands like this just in seek of the truth. Across the country, there are several incidents that could easily be manipulated using fake news and misinformation, especially as the internet penetration continues to grow. From the headsman crisis in northern and middle belt Nigeria to the political instability surrounding the country's ruling party and incidents of extreme incompetence, there is no doubt that Nigeria could be a propagandist haven. Well, our population is it's, uh, intimidating, and so whatever buzz gets caught up in Nigeria, and because of the youth hub that we also have, um, we are threats in, in terms of whether it's positive or negative. And in this instance, uh, fake news has very deleterious effects on not just politics, on the general well-being of an individual. People just sit down. In, in the comfort of their whatever and, and cook up something, throw it out there and everybody is running. Um, but really, we are, we are not, this is not really new. If you remember, more, you would wake up to hear that uh, somebody ate beans and died in a quiet bomb or some candle. And then you ask the person, he said they told him that the person died in plateau. For Nigeria's main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party, the ruling government should be blamed. Before the All Progressives Congress as a party introduced fake news to Nigeria, it was a very strange phenomenon. And I recall that there used to be a magazine called Top News in Nigeria. But because it, 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 it um, published a fake news, it went into extinction. But since the PC came into power, from the formation stage of their party, they relied heavily on fake news and deception. In this first series, broadcaster Femi D. Amele said the proliferation of fake news on social media in Nigeria has reached an unprecedented level both in the country in a precarious situation. This trend gained prominence during the build up to the 2015 elections. Fake news uh, essentially has been around for a long time. Uh, it, it's just that it's recurrence now, or it's emergence now. Uh, it takes his, much of his life from two streams. Uh, yellow journalism, which is a part of uh, news that has always been sensational in nature, and uh, propaganda in itself, something that uh, politicians have been gifted with over time. So when you find those two not, not so exciting uh, parts of news, uh, and well, speaking, and essentially documents come together, you have fake news. And it has always been in a way that it sustains itself. And when you have fake news uh, among a society, growing with people, day-to-day -day transactions, uh, conversations building up around it, you will start to wonder how do you collaborate, what exactly is the truth. 
One fake news that hit the ceiling was the reported demise of the then presidential candidate, General Muhammad Buhari in London. Only last year, September, a well-crafted fake UN speech of President Muhammad Buhari was circulated on social media even before the president arrived in New York for the 72nd sessions of the United Nations General Assembly meeting. Fake news over the years in Nigeria caught across all genres of society. A recent report released by the U.S. Development for Agriculture, which labeled Nigeria as the second largest import of rice in 2019, was considered as fake news in a response by the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Emefili. But what does the common Nigerian think about fake news? I don't quite believe in uh, fake news because uh, there's always sense in nonsense. That's inside nonsense. When you write nonsense, now you see that there is a sense inside the nonsense. So I don't quite believe in fake news. But most of the fake news you hear, most of the time you, you, you still come to realize that they are not fake. And some of these people arguing uh, on a newspaper stand, they are always arguing on the two sides of the coin. What this man did and what the other people did. You understand? So that is always the argument. So, but if you listen to them carefully, you see the you you see the the point. The phenomenon assumed a frightening dimension immediately after the inauguration of All Progressive Congress government in May 2015. Even as the recently proscribed Biafra agitators quickly seized the opportunity to advance their secession agenda. Ever since then, the country continues to bloom and the vicious circles of pervasive disinformation. What we need to do is to impress on citizens to first draw up what I call a citizen charter, with which they can engage the politicians. Now, what do I mean by that? The run of the mill is for politicians to come with what they think they want to do and canvass those issues and sometimes in the midst of trying to say that, they infuse some of these issues that you are asking whether it will affect. But if the citizens themselves are now the one inviting the politicians to say, you've been talking to us all this while, we've been seeing failed promises, we've not seen any of these things you say come to, many of them come to reality. Now we want you to do X, Y, Z. While the country warms up for the general elections next year, there are concerns fake news may play a significant role in shaping the thoughts of the people and the election's landscape. But until that is tamed, the vicious circles of pervasive disinformation continues. Itogi Mo, edit, and Hamza Abdullahi, Root TV Abuja.